good morning you guys so i just showed you my little 5 a.m routine i have been waking up at 5 a.m every day this week actually just to like challenge myself to something new but i also just started this book called the 5 a.m club and it talks about the power of waking up at 5 a.m and all of the things that you can learn from it i am only about halfway through the book so i kind of need to like, keep getting up at 5 to get through this book and finish it so next week i do plan to continue to wake up at 5 a.m to listen to my book get my mind right, get ready for my day, etc. And since I woke up at 5 a.m., I figured I would do like a productive 5 a.m. day in my life. So some things I have planned for today. I'll definitely want to get a walk in outside, need to get some work done, clean up around the house as per usual. And then I am getting my hair done later, so I'm excited for that because it's been way too long since I got a haircut. So yeah, I figured I would just take you along with me on my day. I feel like I've already accomplished a lot today. I did yoga this morning. I did some journaling, reading, meditation, made my coffee. Now I'm up here doing my makeup. Hopefully you enjoy this video. It seems like you like watching my productive days in my life. But yeah, my makeup is pretty much done now. So let's get started on my day. Okay, so part of what I wanted to share in today's video is my kind of productivity hacks and tips, ways that I'm able to stay productive throughout my day, especially being unemployed laid off instead of just sitting on the couch watching TV. How do I stay productive and make sure that I'm still getting things done throughout my day, especially when I don't like have to be. So my first tip that I wanted to share is to make yourself a to-do list. I feel like to-do lists just help me get a good grasp on everything I need to get done for the day. So I made myself a little to-do list today. For me on my list are to do laundry, which I already started, stuff for YouTube, some cleaning, walking outside, and then applying to three jobs. So I literally just finished applying to my three jobs. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that off my list. And I also think having a to-do list helps you feel more accomplished, feel like you actually did things today when you get to check them off your list. It's, you know, satisfying. So yeah, my first tip for staying productive is to make yourself a to-do list and check things off your list as you finish them. Just one glass in, you're already on my mind. When it gets late, I always realize that I need you. Are you thinking? Right, just had breakfast and it was so good mixed it up a little bit this morning but now i wanted to share my next productivity tip and so it is just after 10. my hair appointment is at 11 so i will probably need to head out around 10 45. so since i only have about 30 minutes to work on whatever i want to work on my next tip is to kind of like fragment your time so if you have a daunting task that you really don't want to do or just maybe only have like 30 minutes to work on something like how i do right now set a timer for yourself focus on that one task during the time that you have this timer set for so my tip here is to kind of fragment your time set a timer for yourself and just focus on the one task during the time frame that you give yourself and I'm gonna do that now since I only have about 30 minutes to work on editing before I need to head to my hair appointment All right, so that was 30 minutes of working on my YouTube video. It is about 10.40, and again, my other appointment is at 11, so I need to go get changed and then head to my appointment. When I get back, it'll be time for lunch and finishing up whatever else is on my to-do list for the day. Here is what I'm wearing to my salon appointment. I will link this whole outfit in the description box, of course. But really quick, I'm just gonna take my hair out of the clip. Ah. Tangled. I just wanted to show how long my hair is right now. I honestly didn't realize how long it was until the Amazon try on video when I was editing that. I haven't got my hair cut in forever, so I'm just look at how bad that is. I'm just very excited to get it cut and wanted to show you how long it is so we can compare when I am done. <laughs> I 
am back and by all means my hair is still long for most people but i literally cut off like seven or so inches and it's so much healthier I think it's cute. I'm happy with how it turned out. But anyways, now I need to get back to business. So that leads me into my next tip. This is gonna sound kind of funny because you're gonna be like, I'm not a dog. But this tip is to reward yourself when you've completed a task. And the reason that this works is because rewarding yourself releases dopamine and it can be kind of whatever you want to reward yourself with. But my one suggestion is to not make it essential things like like you get to eat food once you complete a task or you get to like drink water or go to the bathroom. If you need to eat food or go to the bathroom, do those things. That's just part of being a functioning human being. But if something that you love doing is scrolling through TikTok or instead of just eating food, it could be like a special treat. Like you get to give yourself a chocolate chip cookie once you complete your task. Things like that can help really stay productive, get something done and get it done quickly so that you can reward yourself. Okay, so I just finished editing my Budget Babe episode one video and I was starting to edit my 5 a.m. club video and then all hell broke loose and iMovie stopped working. My computer was like out of storage. I have an external hard drive, but it's not working. It's really old. I haven't used it in probably like three years or something. So I don't know why it's not working, but I started getting frustrated and ultimately that kind of leads me to my next tip for staying productive which is sometimes you just need to take a break working five hours straight or four hours straight your mind just kind of turns to mush and it's definitely very important to give yourself some mental breaks preferably fresh air get outside so this is a great time for me to get outside maybe go for a walk that was also on my to-do list was to go for a walk outside so maybe I should take a little break go for a walk outside and then come back to my storage problem. So that is my next productivity tip and hack is to remember to take breaks so that you can come back, have a fresh mind and keep working on whatever you're working on. All right, so we are getting some fresh air on a little walkie poo with Doodle. And since Chris is a smart, successful employee of a large tech company, I'm going to tap him in for my next productivity tip. So my tip is break down whatever it is that you're trying to do into smaller pieces. Tech world, if that's building a website, break it down into more bite-sized things that you could do and accomplish in like one day or an hour or something. And then yeah. just start doing one thing after another. It doesn't have to be all at once. It could be over a week, over a month, but it'll make it a lot more cool. digestible and easier to get to whatever end result that you want. I would say the other tip that I have is try and build like a timeline. If I want to build this YouTube video or start this company or night hustle build the timeline around it and kind of work backwards so if you want to have it by the end of the month think about what you need to do in the next two three weeks to get to that day and then you know figure out hey is that possible you know to keep yourself a little bit more accountable in the sense that you know you need to do what are the steps it'll hopefully help you prevent yourself from procrastinating and that's definitely true for things like not just in work give yourself a timeline for cleaning the house or whatever i want to have the house clean by sunday night or something like that and then you can use his first tip instead of just clean the house you can break it into chunks of like clean the bathroom by friday things like that and then that way it makes it more achievable anyways great tips very usable hacks in everyday life and in business All right, so as you saw, I got my walk outside done and then I came back and cleaned the pool. So that was a nice long break from my computer. Sometimes we just need like a break from our computers when things aren't working. So the only thing left on my to-do list that I have from this morning is to work on Etsy stuff. So maybe I should do that next for the next 30 minutes or hour or so. Other than that, I probably am just gonna spend the rest of the evening editing, reading, relaxing, and all of that. So. So 
I will continue to show you what I'm working on, but I think as far as my productivity hacks and tips, I'm going to leave it there and maybe do like a part two because I do feel like I have a lot more tips and hacks to stay more productive, be more effective with your time. That could end up being a really long video and I feel like this video is already probably pretty long. Gotten a lot done today. I'm gonna try and finish the day strong. Chris and I are gonna order takeout, I think, and then watch the Warriors later. So anyways, I will check in soon. It is now just about five o'clock and I think I'm just gonna call it a day here as far as editing and working on the hustles and all of that. It's been a very productive day. I got a lot done today. I think it's time for an adult beverage and Chris is ordering us dinner right now. So I'm gonna have just a relaxing evening on the couch. I will take a few more clips showing the rest of my evening, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumb up so I know that you like it and I know that you want to see more videos like this if you want to see a part two for like productivity tips and tricks and hacks let me know in the comments and I will talk to you guys next time If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the link above where I've linked my entire routines playlist.